In this video, we're going to look at a modified Atwood's machine. Uh, and in this problem, the pulley will have mass. Oftentimes, when you see this problem, the pulley does not have mass. But in this uh, problem that we're going to try to solve, the pulley does have mass. So a modified Atwood's machine is a uh, setup where you have one mass on the table, and then you have a pulley. The line goes through, the rope goes through the pulley and, and down to another mass that's hanging freely. And uh, the steps that we're going to use to solve for the acceleration uh, in terms of the variables are this. First, we're going to indicate the positive direction. And I'm going to make the positive direction this way. So positive will be to the right on the table. And then uh, down here is going to be pointed downwards. So I indicate the positive direction. Then I'm going to write Newton's second law for mass 1. Then I'm going to write Newton's second law for mass 2. And then I will uh, write the rotational version of Newton's second law for the pulley and then I will solve for the acceleration. To help me write Newton's second law for these um, objects, I'm going to also draw the force diagram, uh, or at least draw the forces acting on each of these objects. So for M1, we have uh, gravitational force Fg1, and I'm going to call this M1. You can also write it as M1g. And there's also the normal force uh, Fn going up. And the normal and the FG are going to be equal and opposite because it's not accelerating up or down. There is also friction on this table, and that's going to be to the left. And FK is equal to mu, mu K times FN. Okay. And then for uh, also on this string right here, it's also going to be a force towards the right, and I will call this T1. So this is the tension force uh, from the string. And then for T for M2, there's a force of tension going up. It's going to be T2. It's not really drawn to scale here, um, but there is a force there. And there's gravitational force down, Fg. And be real careful, Fg2 is not equal to T2 uh, because it's accelerating. So I know those two are not equal to, um, to each other. So Fg2, we can also write it as M2G. Okay. And uh, this has a... A certain amount of radius, it's got a mass, the pulley has a mass, which we're going to call uh, capital MP. So I'm going to start off with M1. So we'll start with M, M1, and we're going to try to write Newton's second law for this. So Newton's second law is that force equals MA. And so for M1, it's going to be T1 minus mu FN. Now FN is equal to M1G. So I'm going to write mu m1g is equal to m1a, which is our system. So our system right now is just this m1 right here. So that is our system right there. And uh, we can write it uh, to uh, set it equal to t1. I'm going to move this to the right-hand side, uh, which is going to be t1 is equal to m1a. I'm going to add mu m1g to the other side. Uh, this is going to help me to combine all my variables a little easier later on. Mu 1 G. Okay, so now I'm going to look at M2. So M2, I'm going to write Newton's second law for M2. Uh, so let's see here, we have M2 G, so all the forces in the positive direction, so all the forces down, minus all the forces in the negative direction, minus T2 is equal to, and my system this time is just M2, so that's going to be um, 2a. Okay. So I'm going to solve it for t2 because it's just going to be easier for me to combine everything in, in a moment. So t2 equals m2g, m2g, uh, and I'll move that over to the left. I get minus m2a. Okay. So now let's take a look at the, the pulley. So now we're going to analyze the pulley, and we're going to use... Um, the rotational version of Newton's second law, uh, which states that the net torque is equal to the moment of inertia times alpha. So uh, torque, uh, by by kind of how we calculate torque, um, is the R. I'm going to write this here. Um, R torque is R F sine theta. Okay, so this is. Um, Kind of the definition of torque here. Torque is Rf sine theta. So on the left-hand side, because sine 
the force here is going to be perpendicular. This is R right here, right? Get a better color here. So this is R right here, and this is uh, my force. So this is going to be 90 degrees. So really, I can just write this as RF, and I'm not going to have to worry about the sign because the force is um, 90 degrees um, to kind of the radius, uh, radial line right there. So we have RF is equal to, and this is the net force. This is, just to remind you that we're talking about the net force here, is equal to moment of inertia. And uh, alpha is, just also remind you that um, alpha R angular acceleration times the R equals the acceleration. So therefore, alpha is A over R. So this is going to be A over A over R. Okay. We also know that the moment of inertia uh, for a cylinder is going to be our disk is 1 over 2 uh, mr squared m r squared m r squared so that's just something you can uh, you can look up okay so now we have uh, I'm going to use r because that was the given variable so we use capital R here the net force here um, so just knowing uh, Newton's third law uh, this this rope is pulling this mass upward and there's also a reaction force that's downward going down this way that has the same force and then this also has a force this way which is T T1 so there's gonna be a force here that's T2 force here T1 and the net force is going to be T2 minus T1 is equal to and I'm gonna substitute the moment of inertia or rotational inertia 1 over 2 M P that's the mass of the pulley times uh, M P times the R squared R squared is right there okay and then we have this A over R this A over R now we you'll notice some things will cancel out you'll notice that the R's will cancel out these R's will cancel out and then we're gonna substitute what we know about T2 and T1 okay so T2 is M to G minus m to a minus and then on the right hand side we have this m 1 a and then be careful there's a minus so we have to subtract that part minus mu m 1 g and all this equal to 1 over 2 mass of the pulley times a okay so now I'm gonna move all the a's together uh, so I get m to G minus uh, mu m one G is equal to m two a plus m one a plus one over two m p times the acceleration. Okay, so I can move the acceleration out. Okay, so then this is what we get. So when I move the a out, um, I factor that out. Um, and I solve for A, we get a, a acceleration is equal to M2G minus mu M1G divided by M1 plus M2 plus 1 over 2 uh, MP, and MP is the mass of the pulley.